Shalom and welcome to our 25th annual Feast of Weeks. This is part three of Great is Yahweh Ben Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel. I come speaking a language that is strange to my people. Oh, I don't have to speak Hebrew. No, my, my English is strange to you. <laughs> you claim to speak the language I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking logical English. I'm presenting inductive thoughts to you and deductive thoughts. And that's strange to you. Hmm? Because your enemies knew I would come and present logic. Your Messiah would have to be a logical man. So they made you an illogical people. That's all it took. That's why though I made the world and I'm in the world and yet the world knows me not because the world has an illogical mind which is in opposition to a logical mind so only you that are blessed can receive logic you have to be blessed. You have to be chosen to receive logic. Illogical people have trouble with logic. Let me give you an example of illogical people. Warning. Smoking will give you throat cancer. That's logical. The Surgeon General, the General of all surgery. <laughs> has conducted studies and in all cases have proven conclusively that smoking causes throat cancer. And yet, the illogical person goes and says, I'll walk a mile for a camel. <laughs> and I'd rather fight than switch from smoking. <laughs> Read the warning and say, shoo, everybody has to die from something. I might as well die young, suffering from some kind of cancer. That's illogical. You, that's illogical. Only an illogical person will light up something and suck it in with the full knowledge that it's going to kill you with a horrible death slowly. And then die in a 64 years old in a fetal position with all your hair gone. Whole, cut your whole box out of your throat. All your apple in your voice box gone. Chemotherapy which is cooks you. It's cooked up and causes 25 more different kind of cancers to come. That's what chemotherapy does. It causes 15 different other kinds of cancer to come as a side effect. <laughs> and people go through this, that's illogical. The way to eliminate and to not have 
cancer of the mouth, cancer of the throat, cancer of the lungs, is don't smoke. Except the facts of the study. It's not that you have to be religious to not smoke. <laughs> you couldn't possibly be a Hebrew Israelite, child of Yahweh, and smoke. That's it, because that's illogical. <clears throat> Yahweh is the logical God. My name is Yahweh, Ben Yahweh. I'm logical. I'm presenting logic. It's illogical to suck something in that you know is going to kill you. Early and with great pain. But they'll show you a very beautiful blonde, blue eyed naked woman with her legs crossed high, finger stuck out. And, and suck on it real seductively. I mean, you got to go get you a cigarette behind all of that, boy. Logic is gone. Here comes cancer. <laughs> Am I making this up? <laughs> um, so you have to be blessed to receive what I teach. What do you teach Yahweh being Yahweh? The statutes of Yahweh, the laws of Yahweh. What do you teach Yahweh being Yahweh? The commandments of Yahweh. What do you teach Yahweh being Yahweh? The judgments of Yahweh. Well, what are they? They're logic. They're all based on logic. Every one of them. Every one of Yahweh's laws is based on logic. Yahweh said, thou shalt not eat pork, pig, ham, bacon, foot, ears, <laughs> tails, feet, guts, skin, maul, tail, his head and call it souse. Hog head cheese. Y'all would say, Thou shalt not eat it. And you get upset with Yahweh because he teaches you not to eat it. You say, well, My God, you have it in your store. Sure do. <laughs> this day I set before you good and evil just as it was in the beginning that's the way it is now I set before you good and evil I put in the midst of the garden the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and I told you not to touch it and what makes you God children of God and gods what makes you God is you make the logical choice. Some of us don't want to be gods, we want to be bees and ants and birds and just be governed by instinct and don't think. God can think. To be like God requires you to think. And to be like him requires you to be logical. So when Yahweh says, thou shalt not eat pigs, hogs, a logical person would say, why not? There's nothing wrong with asking, why not? It's logical. 
to ask, why not eat the hog? Scientific studies reveal that the pigs and hogs have 999 diseases, among them arteriosclerosis, which you can't get rid of, because it's cataracts of the eye, high blood, low blood, gout, tumors, cancer, all kinds of running sores. That's just a few of the different kind of worms that come out of him. He has 999 different worms that come out of him. Every one of them destroy you. They destroy the beauty of your skin. <clears throat> and when you eat hog long enough, you start squaring up. <laughs> I can tell every sister that love hog, she's, she's no longer pretty, you know, she's square. And you know how they feed those hogs to get all fat? See, I, some of our people, all they have to do is just get over on their knees, hands and knees, and they look exactly like a pig. Everything be hanging down. <laughs> Everything you got hanging down. Now, when you learn that the pig has 999 diseases that you can't cure, what does logic tell you? See, logic will just make you not touch it. So it's impossible for you to be a Hebrew Israelite, child of the Most High, Yahweh, and eat pork or smoke. To get drunk one time destroys 10,000 brain cells, and you cannot get them back. I'm scared to death to get drunk. It's just, <laughs> getting drunk is illogical. <laughs> yeah, well, we drank a little Yahweh wine, or Yah yeah, 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 you can do it. It's still not for kings. If you want to keep all your brain cells, you'll leave it alone, boy. For real. When somebody's ready to die, buy them a bunch of wine and hard liquor and give it to them. Let them go. <laughs> That's what the book says. No, how many of you need all the brain cells you can get hold to? Yeah, brain cells is what you think with, you know? How many feel like you need a few extra if you could get hold to them? <laughs> then all of you that love logic can appreciate my argument. So we don't have to fuss about whether you're going to get drunk or smoke cigarettes or eat hog. If I see you doing any of these things, I know you're illogical. I catch you frying your hair, cooking it, and dyeing it. I know you're illogical. See, I understand you are emotionally illogical. <laughs> and it goes on and on. You know, I'm not picking on anybody, nothing personal. I'm just being logical. <laughs> nothing personal. It is. Yahweh teaches us by his law to teach your sons and to teach your son's son. That's logic. So why are your children in the public schools being taught by other nations? Why? Because you're illogical people. You have schools in your own neighborhood trucking teachers in from other nations with their books. And their books teach your children to love 
how they look. So they grow up wanting to be and to look like other people. That's illogical, isn't it? And when your child goes to their school, their children come out feeling superior, period. And your child comes out feeling inferior, period. Why? Because the knowledge that is given doesn't give your child what he needs to be logical. They're ready to be exploited by Disney World. Rats that can't talk. Gumbo that can't talk. You become goofy. <laughs> you can't talk. <laughs> Is that logical or illogical? I mean, you run up and want to take pictures with a rat. That's not real. And then run back to wherever you come from and show everybody you took a picture with a rat. Is that logical? Is that logical? How many admit we need our memory back? You need it back? Yes, well, welcome to the Feast of Weeks, 1990. And tonight we will continue to learn our responsibilities as the first fruits. We are the first fruits of the house of Jacob. We're the first fruits of the house of Israel. We are the first fruits from among the so-called blacks of America to constitute the nation of Yahweh. And the name Yahweh is found all over the earth And it is found among all scholastic references and reference books, namely your Encyclopedia Britannica's, your Bible interpreters' dictionaries. The name Yahweh is found in many different Bibles, such as New Jerusalem Bible, the Septuagint, It is found in the short version with the wrong letter in front of it, even in the King James Version of the Bible. Certainly found in your dictionaries. No one of intelligence will debate today about Yahweh being the name of the God of Israel. When I first started teaching 10 years ago, there was great debate, but it's hard to find debate today. That's my work, and that's because of my work. So intelligent people are passing this on to other intelligent people who have to bear witness that according to all of the scholastic references, Yahweh is indeed the only name of God the God of the Bible, the Hebrew God, the God of history that got things done. And we are the first fruits of the God of the Bible whose name is Yahweh. Feast of Weeks is also an agricultural feast. And it is a rite that honors Yahweh as the sovereign one. Feast of Weeks honors Yahweh as the God of Israel, the sovereign 
one of Israel. And the Feast of Weeks also recognizes the fraternal responsibility uniting the nation of Yahweh together, which is bound by our agreement with Yahweh and his agreement with us. In fact, the reason that I'm in your midst in America, refreshing your memory relative to the Feast of Weeks and other high holies of Yahweh, high holy days of Yahweh, is because of Yahweh's agreement with our fathers. Though you've done absolutely nothing to attract Yahweh to you, You have done absolutely nothing as a people to cause Yahweh to remember his covenant with us, his agreement with us. In fact, your life in America has done nothing to enhance the knowledge of Yahweh. Nor would you be classified as a people that Yahweh could be proud of. You are a people who display an illogical mindset when Yahweh is in fact the logical God. You're people going backwards who love foolishness. A destroyed people. In fact, you didn't send for me. You didn't send for Yahweh and no representative of Yahweh to come and help you out of your condition. And you have to admit, so-called black people of America have a serious problem. Even, even foolish people know we have a problem. And you've never sent for the right one with the right solution. Yet the only one with the only solution is standing before you today. Yes. There are many ways that I know I have the only solution. It's because the major reason is I have put into practice the solution that my father gave in the Bible for you as a solution. And it works. My people are trying all kinds of avenues, none of which work. Many live for a dream. And they try to keep a dream alive. And it keeps turning into nightmares. Regardless of what you try and have tried, and whatever you will try, outside of my father, Yahweh, will never work. Last night, I successfully connected you to Yahweh. And I think I successfully disconnected you from Cinderella. <laughs> and all of you that gave up Cinderella and Santa Claus are indeed taking on a new mindset. Feast of Weeks is also called Feast of Harvest. And the Feast of Harvest recalls all of the great acts of Yahweh, such as Israel's deliverance from slavery in Egypt, 
which means our deliverance from slavery in Egypt. We, the so-called black people of America, have now been in slavery twice in recent years. Once during the time of Moses, we were in slavery, and here we are back in slavery again for the last 435 years in America. Tricked and deceived into thinking we were set free in 1865, but we don't act like free people. We demonstrate the mentality of a dependent people. We demonstrate the mentality and the emotionalism of a baby that refuses to be weaned, and yet the mother is determined to wean you. The one acting as your false mother is the white man and any other nation that cares to come and take advantage of you, such as Cubans are doing in, in this city today, Koreans doing it in some of your areas, Japanese are doing it in others. It's just anyone who chooses to take advantage of you do so. Even people from Africa who look like us and darker than most of us take advantage of you. I was shared a testimony as late as today where some of our brothers from Ethiopia are here in this country and they said they are here to get rich from the so-called black man's pocket of America because they heard in Ethiopia that black people in America love to spend their money with everybody but themselves. and told us that because they know we are conscious. We are awake and we are conscious. And it's a fact. We will spend with anybody regardless of his color so long as it's not one of us. As soon as we hear he's a descendant from a slave, like the rest of us, we're not going to spend money with those. And those who are blessed to sit under my teachings and enter my school are given irrefutable evidence that we have been taught to think illogically and we are without the knowledge of our true self. And that when we come into the knowledge of our true self, a change takes place in our lives. This concludes part three of Great is Yahweh Ben Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel.